everything has fallen into place. I feel really good about where I am right now, mentally and physically. And that's what's important. Being the GOAT, there will always be insurmountable pressure on her shoulders and high expectations for her to deliver. After competing for years, Simone Biles finally found peace with it. I have expectations, but I won't be let down if I don't achieve something. So I think this is almost the better way to go. And Simone has come so far in her career that she has learned a lot of things along the way. What success means to me is a little bit different than before because before everybody defined success for me. Although, as you know, her path hadn't always been plagued with successes. In fact, when she entered the 2020 Tokyo Games, expectations reached an all-time high. While she added two more medals to her Olympic tally, making it a remarkable seven, she made headlines by withdrawing from most events, citing mental health concerns. Her struggles with the twisties, a disorienting mental block during aerial maneuvers, were made known to the public. It may have come as a shock to many, but Biles' decision to prioritize her mental well-being sparked vital conversations about the immense pressures athletes face and their mental health challenges. Since then, she has become an advocate for mental health. I'm making a bigger effort to take care of my mind and my body, which includes therapy once a week, Thursdays are my therapeutic days, a moment for myself, the gymnast admitted in a 2023 interview. Since her comeback in June, Simone has reached various heights. At the World Championships, she continued to add to her medal count, bringing her total to 30. She claimed gold medals in four events, team, all-around, floor exercise, and balance beam, as well as a silver in the vault. The win comes with more history for Biles as she's now the only gymnast to win world all-around titles a decade apart, having taken her first title in the very same venue in 2013. For context, legendary gymnast Yuchimura Kohe of Japan and Russia's Svetlana Korkinka's first and last titles were six years apart, the previous record. What's more, Biles is also the only female gymnast to take six all-around crowns, tying her with Yuchimura. Needless to say, with 34 world and Olympic medals, she becomes the sport's most decorated ever, male or female. At 27, she still isn't done gracing the world stage, or the mat if you want to be more technical. Her journey will continue, propelling her towards the much-awaited Paris 2024 Olympics. Speaking of which, Netflix is adding to its sports docu-series lineup with three new shows centered on the 2024 Paris Summer Olympics. In partnership with the International Olympic Committee, Netflix is doing docu-series on gymnastics great Simone Biles, the U.S. men's basketball team, and Olympic track athletes. The Biles series is titled Simone Biles Rising and will debut its first part in July ahead of the Summer Games. The series consists of four 45-minute episodes with the official description, Simone Biles has unfinished business. At the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, she was one of the biggest stories leading into the Games. But in sport, as in life, competitions do not always go as planned. And for Simone, the world had a front row seat as her private struggle with mental health exploded on the international stage, forcing her to withdraw from the competition. Since then, Simone has put in the hard work facing the difficult traumas in her past, learning to manage her mental health, embracing her journey, and in the process, rebuilding her gymnastics from the ground up. Her courage to soar knows no bounds, as this summer she plans to return to the Olympic stage once again to do what she's always done, be the best Simone that she can be. Because through it all, Simone still rises. As you all know, and as mentioned earlier as well, Biles was heavily favored to win multiple gold medals in Tokyo, including a second consecutive all-around title. This, however, came to a full stop when she withdrew because of the twisties. Shortly after, Biles took almost two years off before returning last season, where she won her eighth national title among the other list of accolades you learned about earlier. Hers is a story of triumph, and she is undoubtedly an inspiration to many. Announcing the collaboration, Jerome Parmentier, Vice President for Media Rights and Content Partnerships at the IOC, said, The upcoming Netflix sports series offer a captivating glimpse into the lives of Olympic athletes who are at the heart of the Olympic Games, delivering inspiring stories and perspectives. He also noted that, These series will build excitement ahead of the Olympic Games Paris 2024, which will be broadcast by our media rights holders across the globe. 
Biles' return for her third Olympics will be chronicled in Simone Biles Rising, which will run in two parts. The first four episodes will mainly focus on her struggles with mental health at the Tokyo Olympics and her return to competition last year, and will premiere in July ahead of the opening of the Games on July 26th. Part 2, covering her time with the U.S. gymnastics team in Paris, will air sometime after the Olympics, although a date hasn't been set yet. The second set of episodes will be centered around Biles' time with the United States gymnastics team in Paris. Religion of Sports is producing the docuseries in association with the Olympic Channel. It will be directed by Katie Walsh, a producer and director on Simone vs. Herself and Past Olympics, and will be produced by Gotham Chopra, Amit Sankaran, Giselle Peretz, and Janie Miller. Besides Simone Biles Rising, Netflix will also produce Olympic Men's Basketball and Sprint. Olympics Men's Basketball is a six-episode series that will follow potential medal contenders and promising hopefuls in men's basketball, as teams from across the world compete in the Olympic Games Paris 2024 and the qualifying events leading up to it. The series is produced by Higher Ground Productions and the Olympic Channel. Executive producers include Connor Schell, Libby Geist, Aaron Cohen, and Jason Herr of Worlds and Pictures, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, Vinnie Malhotra, and Ethan Lewis of Higher Ground Productions. Jake Rogel, known for The Last Dance, will serve as showrunner of the series, which is slated to premiere in early 2025. The basketball documentary will follow potential medal contenders and promising hopefuls in men's basketball with a focus on how the game has grown internationally. Sprint, on the other hand, will explore the top sprinters on the road and throughout the 2023 World Championships, featuring Shakari Richardson, Noah Lyles, and Sharika Jackson, among others in Season 1 with six episodes. Season 2, which will have four episodes, will continue these athletes' journeys at the pinnacle of their sport at the Olympic Games Paris 2024, where they will go for gold with the world watching. Sprint is from the same team that made Drive to Survive, Netflix's wildly popular series on Formula One, which is Box to Box Films. The series will be produced by the London-based production company in association with the Olympic Channel and will be produced by Paul Martin, James Gay Reese, and Warren Smith of the same award-winning documentary production company. Like the first part of Simone's docuseries, Sprint Series 1 will premiere in July ahead of the start of the Paris Games. These productions aim to build on the Redeem Team, the first collaborative feature documentary between the IOC and Netflix, produced alongside Olympians Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. The film looks at the USA men's basketball team at the 2008 Olympics and was in Netflix's global top 10 in 63 countries for its first four weeks of release and won a Sports Emmy Award in the long documentary category. Overall, it's easy to understand that every athlete has a story, and it's not always a good one or a smooth sailing journey. Every athlete, even those at the top of their game, have experienced their fair share of wins and losses, files included. But she has so far overcome the bumps that she encountered along the way. Now she's learned to embrace the process and have fun while doing what she loves. At the end of the day, that U.S. gymnasts can go beyond 16 and 18, and you can also be a collegiate athlete and um, do elite gymnastics. So Paris is just a few months away. Watch this to see who else aims to compete at the Summer Olympics.